Okay, we're back, and uh, it's been one month since I started making the homemade apple cider vinegar. I'll tell you, this could not be any easier to make. So I'm going to, how am I going to do this? This is the final step. It's been one month, and um, what we're going to do is... I'm going to pause this and flip the camera around so that you can see what I have on the counter. Hold on. Okay, we're back. This has been sitting on my counter for one month. Um, super easy. This is what it looks like. It's supposed to look cloudy. And what we're going to do is we're going to strain all the apples that are in this out. So I have a mesh strainer, and I'm going to put a um, lining of cheesecloth over it. And um, if you don't have cheesecloth, you could use a towel, um, like a linen-typed towel or a linen napkin. You wouldn't want to use a towel with all the fuzzies on it like this. Okay. So we're going to strain this into there, and then I have my bottles. I got these at um, Marshall's, my favorite store. They were only $2.50. So we got some of those, and I got my strainers. So I'm going to put this in here. Then I'm going to mash as much juice that's left in the apples out. So we'll be back in one moment with the next step. Hold on. Okay, we're back. So I strained everything. I had a lot of liquid, so after I strained it, I poured it in this bowl till it was all complete. With the leftover apples, I'm going to put that in my compost pile because this is good stuff. And um, then what I did after I poured it from here, I put my funnels on top, so I ended up with a good size bottle and a half and we're going to do a taste test also when you're whenever you're um, dealing with it you always want to use a wooden spoon nothing or plastic never use metal on your vinegar okay so we're gonna do a taste test hold on okay we're back and we're going to do a little taste test with this Oh, that's good vinegar. That's some good vinegar. Um, I just want to say, for the amount of apple homemade apple cider vinegar that I ended up with, I had a big jar, and uh, I used nine apples, gala apples, but you can use anything or a combination. Um, but it was under, it was like $3.75, for the um, nine apples um, that I bought and for under four dollars I ended up with a lot of apple cider vinegar this you want to leave in a dark place I wouldn't store this in direct sunlight some somewhere either in your refrigerator if those who like to store um, keep it in their fridge or on the counter just I wouldn't leave it in and this will last forever this will last you so homemade apple cider vinegar could not be made easier and what I will do is um, the first few steps I will splice this all together and make a complete video for you so with that peace love and hugs